priced at $8.9 million. It may seem like an awful lot of money, but if you have it or you happen to get lucky last night, it may actually be considered a bargain. Real estate agents say only five years ago, this house would have sold for nearly double. Incredible history behind it, that's for sure. For more than a decade, Jenny Craig has called this massive property in Rancho Santa Fe home. For the Craigs, it was perfect because it just offered everything they wanted. Nicknamed the villa, down to every detail, the Craigs took a lot of pride in this home. It was a culmination for them of achieving the dream from all of their successes. Now 78 years old and widowed, the diet guru is moving on. It's kind of a transition in her life. And putting her prestigious pad up for sale. At the moment, she's ready for someone else to enjoy what she has you know, so long enjoyed. Priced at nearly $9 million. It's interesting to say for a property in that price, but that's an exceptional value. Its worth just may be defined by its originality. I guess the Asian culture calls a feng shui, you know, a certain type of energy, a positive energy that this property has. For the skinny on the Diet Queen San Diego estate, the, uh, Jason Barry of Barry Estates gives the us the virtual tour. The character, the charm that really is throughout. From the moment you walk through the giant front door. And it just opens up beautifully. Great flow. I mean, right into the great room, sunken bar. The entrance steps down into a 33 foot long living room. You can see the box beam ceiling, the wood paneling. I mean, the intricate artisan detail that was done throughout. The nearly 750 square foot bedroom will make any woman jealous. You actually have his side with his bath, his walk in closet, and then you have her side with her bath and her walk in closets. Outside, the pavilion. Beautiful trellis is considered the home's jewel. This incredible view. Overlooking the ocean and Miss Craig's 230 acre horse racing facility, which for another 29 million is also for sale. And if you're a football fan, you may have some talking points. This property was first purchased by former Chargers owner Eugene Klein. And then the Craigs purchased this property back in 1997 from former NFL commissioner Pete Rozelle. Doug Kolk, News 8.